through fun and interactive experiences, adults and children alike learn new ways in which to look after our environment. At the Lapalala Wilderness School, one game in particular, the amazing recycling race, is of particular importance. And the main message that we are passing on to kids is to say, um, due to the fact that waste takes up space and waste comes in different forms, shapes and size, then we can now try and minimize the amount of waste that we take into the landfill site then Amazing Plastic Race become one of the most exciting games that where kids can run around and do and see it being uh, done practically where they can identify an item and also where they can also bring it to their learning curve where they talk about uh, things differ in properties and material. Groups are shown recycling symbols and plastic types. They are then divided into teams and shown different recycling symbols. They then race against each other to see who can find the correct correlating symbol and plastic item fastest. The team with the most correctly identified items wins. It is not only for children, it is also for the adult. We have tried with our staff and it, it does work. And also with teachers and mostly it is for everyone because we all have to recycle. And it's not everybody who knows that uh, some other items don't have to be in the dustbin they have to be in the recycling depot. Then when we introduce the concept of recycling, we are saying, let's save our earth, let's save our environment, and let's try and reduce the amount of waste that we create. It is important for everyone else, children and adults, all of us, we can learn from the recycling uh, game. More especially, we all have to recycle. And also for kids, they need to see by adults starting to recycle, and starting to follow the steps of recycling. Uh, plastic were all, it used to be like our national flower in South Africa. So now it changed the whole concept because now we no longer find plastic being hanging around in uh, any fences anymore.